Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, ding, ding, ding. ding <laughs> we ding. missed. Do it again with your finger. Go, ding, ding. Beep, doop. Beep, doop. Beep, beep. Oh, shit. Who are you fighting? Ding, ding. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> back to the to Jen and Julie podcast. Welcome back, guys. We took off a week for Thanksgiving, but we are back. We did. Lovely um, to see you. So lovely to see you. Looks like you're comfortable. <laughs> Are you wearing me undies? <laughs> oh, shit. If you're not, it's okay. I'm not mad. I really am not mad. Do I look mad? You look a little mad. Okay, I'm a little mad. But you can be right now. And you get 20% off your first pair. Softest underwear in the world. Three times softer than cotton. Amazing designs. Like, ridiculously comfortable. You won't wear another type of underwear. Once you try me undies, go to meundies.com slash Jenna Julian. That's meundies.com slash Jenna Julian. 20% off. You will not be sorry. What's this tiny thing in my pocket? It's so tiny. Oh, it's a tracker pixel. Julian. This is <laughs> we just the tracker started. <laughs> pixel, guys. This episode is also brought to you by Tracker. This is a tiny device. Like you can't even see it from here. Can you even see it? Poof, it's gone. This is a tiny device that GPS tracks your items. So you don't lose them. Your wallet, your phone, your belongings, your backpack, whatever it is, your dog. You put this thing on your items and then it connects with your phone on the tracker app and you find it. You never lose anything, okay? It's really, really helpful, and it's so incredibly tiny. Battery lasts forever. Not literally, but you know what I mean. Go to the a tracker. Year, that's T-H-E-T-R-A-C-K-R dot com slash Jenna Julian for 20% off. Guys, if you're going to get an awesome gift this season, you don't want to lose it, all right? Oh, shit. Are you fighting? I'm literally wearing me undies underwear and the bralette. I'm not wearing the bralette. The bralette is like the, you know, <clears throat> ladies out there, if, if you feel me, like sometimes when you're like around your house or like lounging or something and you would like just not wear a bra, but maybe you want to wear a sweatshirt or something and you don't want to chafe. So you want like a low support bra, just like a comfy lounge bra. Like those are the bralettes. So it's me. like not quite full bra, but not quite. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm not going to like nothing. go do a bunch of jumping jacks, but it's like a nice <laughs> chill lounge bra. Without like an underwire or I don't know. But if you, if you feel me, you to feel jumping me. Jumping jacks, you potentially could. It no, would like, just not work. No, yeah, no. You if can, someone's a jumping jacks can fan, you, you can still want. buy me undies. Okay, that's what I'm getting at. You can do whatever you want in your bralette, but like it for me, it's like the perfect I'm chilling bra. It's a good way to describe it. You know, mm -hmm. <laughs> we chilling. <laughs> chilling. Well, we had a, a Thanksgiving up in the mountains. It was it was pretty nice to get up there. Um, but we're, we, like, got back home and, like, kind of had just, like, chills giving. Yeah, we Like chill. a chill giving weekend. Yeah, we had some leftovers. We made our fried chicken that we made yeah, last so year for Thanksgiving. So, obviously, we're vegan and Julian can't eat any gluten. So, people are like, what do you guys eat for Thanksgiving? We literally take Beyond Meat, the chicken strips. Julian makes a uh, flour batter for them and, like... We deep fry them and it, we put like extra rosemary and thyme and sage in there and it tastes a lot like Thanksgiving and then we made mashed potatoes we made stuffing and cranberry sauce and honestly what the fuck else you need nothing you just a couch to digest <laughs> Not <laughs> digest the couch. couch digest on the couch all 11 of you guys who found my Pinterest somehow know what that recipe is But 11 it's people found your Pinterest something like that. I don't I know how do I have your Pinterest? I follow you on Pinterest. That's how I find all, all the food. I know you do, yeah. But. Because Julian does this thing where we're going to cook something and he's like, oh, look up the recipe. I'm like, just open my Pinterest yeah. on your phone. It's a great app, but I don't know why anyone would follow me on it. <laughs> <laughs> do you, though? It is always a little funny when someone's like, so-and-so is now following your Pinterest. And you're like, why? Why, fam? Why, fam? I never post that. And if I do, it's like literally just so I remember where the recipe is. It's all good, though. <laughs> Um, so are we giving credit to this person for the tweet? Yeah. Xander well, Finner there, on Twitter? That was the original tweet, and then a lot of people tweeted it at us. It was like immediately and overwhelmingly, this is what people wanted us to do on the podcast. I think it's a really funny idea. Basically what it is, is it's headline roulette. Read the tweet. So the tweet says, that was tweeted at us um, by Xander, uh, says... <clears throat> Every single headline this year looks like someone pulled names and scenarios out of a hat. That wasn't that wasn't the tweet at you. That was just a tweet. And the, they quoted a New York Daily News article that says, Tommy Hilfiger thinks model Gigi Hadid could be the key to peace in the Middle East. 
So the idea is literally we're going to do that. We're going to pull like headlines out of a hat. So we separated them into three categories. Okay. We have the who. Oh, shit. Who are you fighting? We have the who category, who it's about. We have the what category, what the subject is. Yeah, it's like an action. And then and. Like a follow up. Yeah, because I didn't, I didn't want it to just like again. Whenever we do these like cup games, it might not work, but I'm hoping it does because I, I, we wrote separately. Yeah, we. So a lot of them I don't know, and Julian doesn't know. I'm excited. And for I'm you hoping to hear that my... they all work together. But uh, I didn't want it to be like you know we pull out Donald Trump and then it's like buys a llama farm. I feel like that's kind of anti. Yeah, we had to have so. a third. This adds this adds a whole other dimension to it. Yeah. Because this can change both the who and the what. Yeah, but Very sometimes quickly. they probably won't work together. Hopefully, more than not, they will. So but you never know. How do you want it? So how about we do it the normal way where I pull all three, make my sentence, you pull all three. And um, then we decide whose wins. Right then and there. And yeah. then the winner's pile goes into a pile and we decide yeah. later on what the yeah. best. Okay. Is that good? Yeah. I feel like we, we like might have too many. I know. You, how many did you do? I don't even know. Because I want to get to, yours are all on the top. I want to get to some of my minor good. Yeah. I'm just trying to mix them around. No, don't do that because then they're different pieces of paper. Don't shake them. You got to just dig your hand in there and fish around. All right, you go first. All right. You pick your who, your, who, your what, your and. I'll pick them as well. I'll just read them a second. Uh oh, I got one of mine. Mine are on notebook paper. Yeah, I'm picking all of them. I got mine. one of yours. Yeah, you got to fish for the other ones too. Okay. Oh boy, this is fun as hell. I fucking love this shit. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> okay. You go first. All right. I got... Ooh. Chingy. Y'all remember the best rapper in the world, Chingy? Okay. Chingy steals own mom's identity so he can tell himself to go through her room. That doesn't make any sense, Julian. What does that mean? What? Do you not get it? No. He steals his own his own mom's identity so he can tell himself to oh, tell himself to go to his home room. So he can ground himself okay. with his mom's identity. And did so while hip thrusting 400 kilograms in the bath. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I think Chingy is the best okay. part of that one. Chingy is the best part of that one. Kim Jong-un just impromptu proposed to Elon Musk at TEDx at a TEDx talk, but won't confirm their own story. <laughs> I think yours wins. Yeah, this one's better. This one's a little better. Yeah, you just proposed to Elon Musk at a TEDx talk. Like, how did how did he even get to that TEDx talk? I don't know, but he was there. Right. But he won't confirm it. Is that a plausible headline, though? You think? Yeah. 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 If he if he was like, no, really, it isn't. <laughs> what if he was really into him? All right, I'm doing my who. He can't get into the United States. What if the TEDx talk was in North Korea? Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha, bitch. Gotcha, bitch. Oh, try me, bitch. Oh, try me, bitch. Sorry. Okay. Oh, try me, oh, bitch. Try me, bitch. All right, you're up. I do feel like like the 2017 comments, much like these 2017 headlines, is like this whole year has just been a fuck show. Yeah, for real. All right, I got Ray Drummond with you. You spelled that with an H in there. Does she spell it with an H? I think she just spells it R E E. Oh, I don't know. All right, Ray Drummond. Got arrested on a New York subway for, quote, dropping it to the floor way too hard. <laughs> and then open hand slapped an entire bowl of macaroni salad off a nearby table. Okay. A and C go together. Right there. Slapped macaroni salad. Yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. Should I turn off the fan? Sure, whatever you want. I'm oh, interested. No. I'm interested to see if you can beat that because this is the sauce Horrible. right here. What? <laughs> All right, let's see if this I can. is the sauce. Adam Driver mustered up mustered up enough cash from investors to bring back Vine. Oh hell yeah! And then tossed a ball of raw dough into the air and yelled, "It's a me, a Mario!" Damn it! <laughs> Those are all mine. All of the written ones are mine. You did both. The people are yours. All right. Which one wins? Let me see. What you read. I think this one wins. What yours? Your your third one is a trump card. Must um, toss the ball of dough in the air and yelled, "It's a me, Mario." It's pretty great. I'm yeah. okay if that wins. All right, this one wins. Read the headline all together. Again. Adam Driver. Yep. Mustered up enough cash from investors to bring back Vine, and then tossed the ball of raw dough into the air and yelled, "It's a me, Mario." <laughs> Hell yeah! It's, it, it makes sense because he's like celebrating. That that Vine's gonna come back. Yeah. Oh, 
Drop me, bitch. Right? I can't stop quoting um, most vines. Well, I saw a vine thread the other day, and it just, oh, man, it brought me back. I was on Vine more than anyone either of us know collectively. Even our friends that were like Vine creators. Oh, we don't know that. Yeah, huh? No, we don't. Yes. I had okay, a problem. Make. I had an actual fucking problem. Yours are so big. Why are your papers Fine. so large? Because right. I wrote them by hand. Okay. Oh. You go first. Okay. <laughs> I didn't put that in there. It's just a There's blank no piece hoover. of paper. There's no one on it. There's also a blank one. There. Wait, no. That says Oprah. Oprah. That's Oprah. All right. Go for it. Okay. Oprah just announced that they were running for president via Musical.ly. 2020. And then started eating during yoga. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> and then started eating during yoga. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god okay imagine, hold on just imagine if you're in a yoga class and you just hear like ew and you just turn around you're like and it's oprah and she's just eating a cheeseburger and you're ew. like bitch. oprah why are you eating in yoga and she's like i'm running for president check out my musically bitch that's great oprah but why are you eating in the yoga studio i feel like that's a plausible headline yeah it could happen and then started eating during yoga yeah it could yeah all right i got justin timberlake saw taylor swift Gremlin walking out of a Pinkberry bathroom. Gremlin and... walking. It's an activity. Gremlin walk. Oh, like when you oh, walk forgive with, me. on your hands oh. with your butt towards the ground. Forgive me. All right. Justin Timberlake saw Taylor Swift gremlin walking out of a Pinkberry bathroom and then tweeted later, the earth is flat, idiots. <laughs> I don't know. I think you kind of butchered the second one. I butchered it? What? No, this one. Saw Taylor Swift gremlin walking out of a pink berry bathroom. Yeah. But. You know, and then you, know you wrote when, butt. And you know when you're like. No, I get what grem. Oh, my God. Oh, we're getting a demonstration. Like that. <laughs> no, I get it. I think yours wins. All right. Oprah eating Yours is yoga. like a real thing. So far, you've won everything. Well, we've won because these are half your cards anyway. It's true. Um, uh, HQ starting now, FYI. Oh, shit. Yeah. Um, I've gotten to question 11. Yeah. And then I got question 11 wrong. And then I just feel terrible and want to die. Um, we high key want to get Scott Rogowski on a podcast. Yeah. If you uh, guys are into that, let us sick. know. I don't know. We'll try. We'll try. We'll try. Okay, we'll try. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, we both did Michael Kors. No way. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. All right. Michael Kors <laughs> wishes yesterday didn't happen and then pooped outside of Wendy's for no apparent reason whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's such a thing that could happen. Wishes yesterday didn't happen and then pooped outside of Wendy's for no like, apparent reason. Like he was just walking around one day and was being a little cunty and was like, you know what? I wish yesterday never happened and then just dropped and pooped outside. <laughs> it's possible. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Alex Jones isn't sure if the Super Bowl is still a thing and then ripped open his shirt to reveal the most exquisite jeweled bra. <laughs> Alex Jones wearing a jeweled bra, please. Please can we pick that one? Oh no, but I really like yours. Any anything following Alex Jones' name is possible. Hmm. Anything that would have happened. <laughs> Alex Jones isn't sure if the Super Bowl is still, still a thing. thing. That's very Alex Jones. Open his shirt and just a bejeweled bra. He's like starting a conspiracy that like maybe the Super Bowl still doesn't happen and it's it has fake. It's fake. It's, it's fake. not a real thing. But I was I was sort of writing like someone who's just super out of the loop in pop culture and they're just like I don't know. Is the Super Bowl like still a thing? <laughs> Even though it's like a massive sporting event every but year. But for him, it's a conspiracy theory. Yeah, I like that one. Like, has there ever been a Super Bowl? I think that's the one we pick. Okay. Especially I won just one. the image of Alex Jones. Just oh, we have, jeweled bra. Yeah. I mean, come on. Yeah, no, that is the Super Bowl. That's in the winter pile. This is my winter pile. Oh. I'll sleep over here. Okay. Is the Super Bowl still even a thing? And then he just rips open his shirt. I'm here for that. I would watch that on YouTube. The highlights of it. Mm -hmm. I would watch it live on YouTube. Because he would be <laughs> streaming for sure. For sure. For sure, dude. For sure, dude. All right, you first. Guys, go win HQ for us. All right. This isn't very specific. It just says Victoria's Secret model. It meant to say uh. Okay. All right. A Victoria's Secret model suggested we all 
quote, just go back to the fucking barter system while wearing extreme white face and they are <laughs> butt scooting across the U.S. for charity. Interesting. Oh, my God. White face? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the shit? Suggested we all, quote, just go back to the fucking barter system while wearing extreme white face. Oh, my God. All right. What you got? Chrissy Teigen yells the national anthem at her son and then showed up at a child's birthday party butt-ass naked. Ooh, okay, that's too real. <laughs> that has to win. That's a plausible scenario. It's This is a headline I feel like I already read. Yeah, that's someone having just like a mental breakdown. But just really quick, can you like picture someone yelling the national anthem <laughs> Oh, at, say, can you see? <laughs> like a discipline, like a disciplinary measure, like you're just getting yelled at with the national anthem. I feel like that's a thing that could happen. So that one wins. And that's no disrespect to Chrissy Teigen. I feel like it could happen to anyone. I followed her on Twitter recently. She's funny. Yeah, she's always been funny. Well, I know. I'm late to the party, but I'm still just making an observation that she's funny. Mm. There you go. Shoot funny, go yell. You know who won't pipe why the is, fuck down? Ma, why is he talking? That child. Should I go get him? Nah. Marble! Nah, leave him alone. Quiet that little mouth. All right, I'll go first this time. Okay. <laughs> the Rock sends threatening sends a threatening text to a guy who clapped when their plane landed and then audibly farted into a Dasani bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Why Dasani? <laughs> I love that you picked Dasani because that's like the worst water ever. <laughs> Okay, I don't know if I can beat that. Whatever I have, I don't know if I can beat that. How did he get that guy's number? I don't know. To, to threaten him via text. Maybe he airdropped him his contact. Possibly. All right. Mine is a small town garbage man with nothing to lose <laughs> says Nicolas Cage is the one true God and is found duct taped to a life size statue of themselves. <laughs> No, you win. Mm. That one's incredible. Read it again. The Rock sends a threatening text to a guy who clapped when his plane landed and then audibly farted into a Dasani <laughs> bottle. <laughs> I wish that was a fucking headline. Your trump, card, your trump cards are killing it right now. Oh, man. <coughs> you I'm just like, The Rock is sitting first class on a plane. Giant, huge man. Takes an empty Dasani bottle that he just crushed and just fucking rips just ass into rips it. rips it into it. Then looks around, no one's gonna say shit because it's the rock. <laughs> no one's gonna say <clears throat> shit. All right, you go first. Hold on. All right. I have Abraham Lincoln. Oh, okay. Back from the dead. Held a rally for vegetable rights, claiming they know when they're being eaten. It's fucked up. We eat air now. And then just tried to drive a jet ski to Cuba from Miami just to get away from you pussies. <laughs> <laughs> just to get away from you pussies. I love that. Abraham That's Lincoln it. on a jet ski saying, try to get just away to get from you pussies. pussies. That's plausible. All he right. probably thinks everyone nowadays is a pussy. Boy, he's dead. But he probably does, though. How can this be a headline if he's dead? I'm so itchy. Kylie Jenner. Says the iPhone 10 is her favorite new item to put up her ass. Oh. And also sat on her Nintendo Switch and is pissed. Oh my god! Julian! I love that the you iPhone wrote all 10, of those. I did. I love that the iPhone 10 matched perfectly with the Nintendo Switch. Like, that was a synonymous, like, mm, I love harmony. how she, she puts the iPhone 10 up her ass, but the Nintendo Switch is, like, too much. She's pissed. She sat on it. It's probably broken now. All right, but, no, I, I love the get away from you pussies. No, nah, you win. All right, fine. And mine's not plausible. Abraham Lincoln's dead. All right, fine. Julie. This Wait. was really good. Thanks. I got a Jenna card. Got another Jenna card. Sick. Let's get this one. Wonder how HQ went. Oh, all Jenna cards. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. I'm ready for this one. Should I start? Yeah. Mark Zuckerberg went on a retreat to become an actual merman and then waved a pair of scissors in the air and says, it's Christmas time, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yours, like each card of yours tells the story. Yeah. I love it. I like that one. I love it. All right. I got Michael Kors again, but Julian's Michael yeah. Kors says champagne has no bubbles. <laughs> He's such a cut sometimes. <laughs> All right. And then promptly left 
the country in a hot air balloon that crashed shortly after because who the fuck knows how to fly a hot air balloon, but everyone was okay. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Michael Kors. Champagne has no bubbles. Gets in a hot air balloon, flies over the country and crashes. I just love the idea that someone's in, like, in a state of anger and they leave in a hot air balloon from that situation. Because <laughs> it takes so much work like, to like, get you. up. Champagne has no bubbles. <laughs> It takes like 10 minutes to blow it up with the hot air and then a while after just to lift off the ground. This is like 20 yards away an hour later. Yeah. No, then he finally cuts the rope with a giant knife just so he can get going. Oh my God. So this wins? Uh, I think he was wins. Zuckerberg got beat. That one's pretty good though. Yeah. Well done. He well became done. A, a merman and then said it's Christmas time, bitch. It's Christmas time, bitch. bitch. All right. One. Two. Trey. You first. Girl. Uh-oh. All right. I got Elijah and Christine are pretty like sure they got pregnant for their birthday. Oh, my God. And won't admit their driver's license photo is actually him. What? I don't know. You, and I guess that one didn't really translate. The, I don't get that one. I'm pulling out another end. What? I don't know what that means. All right, fine. What does that mean? And won't admit. I guess it sounded better in my head. All right. Sorry Elijah and Christine are like pretty sure they got pregnant on their birthday, but wouldn't interrupt their arithmetic class to comment any further. Arithmetic, but again. Arithmetic. I just thought it would be funny if someone was in arithmetic class. I am not a funny man. Donald Trump shows off his new beach body. It's not his, but it's a great body. <laughs> While spitting into the air and catching it back in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Ew! All right, I tried to make mine work. It didn't work. Yours came out phenomenal. All right. Amazing. Read it again. Hold on. Donald Trump shows off new beach body. It's not his, but it's a great body. While spitting up into the air and catching it back in the mouth. Julian, you wrote all of those. Ten no, out of ten. No, you are Donald Trump. Ten out of ten. Thank you, thank you. That I feel like that's a real thing, though, that could happen. I mean, at Guys, this point... Guys, look at my body. It's a great body. Not my body, but it's a great yeah, body. This is the, my body. And then he's just on the beach spitting up in the air and catching yeah, it in his mouth. Yeah. that's a, like Anything with Donald Trump in front of it is completely believable at this point. It's true. Pretty fucked. Pretty fucked. All right. What you got, boy? All right. Kendall Jenner asks on November 29th, what time is the World Series start? It's funny if you know what sports... Okay, you know... And they're and they're going to turn their life around, but only once they've had their morning coffee and whatever. That was bad. I have Shane Dawson petition to make the SpongeBob theme song the new national anthem, and wore a salad as a hat and screamed, "Fuck all y'all! All y'all can suck a calipilla dick!" to a small group of people minding their own business. These are both kind of kind of weak. That one's good though. Fuck all y'all. All y'all can suck a calipilla Again, dick. that was a Vine reference. Nobody those... wins. That's not going in the winners. All right, no one wins. Not bad, That's but not draw. great. Not great. Some of these, like, I think the problem is I wrote them in, like, a column, and they only worked with what was next to them, which is stupid, because they're supposed to yeah. be random, but... No, you got to write them all in the same, like, tense, I know, too. I you know. know what I mean? That's hard. I know it's hard. All right. Okay. What? Ellen says singing underwater is completely safe and proves it by pooping on the floor in the first class airport lounge. Oh my god! You had a pooping somewhere on the floor too. <laughs> yeah. We sick. Poop jokes. I like that one. That one's really good. Imagine if someone was like, guys, you can sing underwater. It's safe. Lol. And then like and then millions just of people to the airport. Nice, sick, amazing. All right. Hillary Clinton dug an actual hole to China. When asked how she did it, she said, shh, don't worry about it, and also can't find his or her fucking car keys. <laughs> that one's good. That one's good. <laughs> You're not supposed to read his or her. You're sorry, supposed to sorry, pick sorry. Okay. Guys, I dug a hole to China. Oh, Miss Clinton, how did you do that? Uh, shh, don't worry about it. Has anyone seen my fucking keys? <laughs> that one's good. That one, that one wins. That one wins? That's pretty good. She wouldn't lose her keys, though, if she had a tracker on them. Oh! 
that segue though, boy. While we're on the topic, oh, guys, Tracker is a really tiny device that you can attach to your items. Okay, and by the way, I just like for the record to show that you set me up with that. I did not plan that. You set me up with that. I did not I plan that. I didn't know I was setting you up. You set me up with that. Guys, Tracker Pixel is their new tiny, tiny little thing. Here it is right here. Right? Your phone, your keys, your wallet. Mine's in my backpack. Your backpack. We we took it to Portugal. We Everywhere we go, we put these on our things. You put it on whatever you lose. Your wallet, whatever it is. Okay? I put mine in my, in my drone bag, in my camera bag, because can't risk losing those things. I actually used the tracker app uh, at our last last minute trip a month ago. When we were at the airport, our luggage was taking forever to come around. I was mm-hmm. like, wait a minute. This is weird. So Maybe I logged lost. on the app, and it showed me that it's LAX. And I was like, oh, I can rest easy. I have peace of mind now. And that's what Tracker gives you is peace of mind, honestly. Any Anytime you might be worried that you might lose an item, just throw a Tracker Pixel on it. It has um, GPS tracker in it that communicates with your phone. Okay, so you, you lose an item, you log on your phone, it gives you a map and it shows you where it is. It just locates your item. It's always tracked via the tracker. Uh, it also works backwards where if you lose your phone and you have the tracker, you can make your phone create a noise so you can find it. So if your phone's across the room, you don't know where it is, you have your tracker, oh, where's my phone? You press it and your phone will buzz. It's a really, really cool item. And it also uh, has a light on it so you can find things in the dark. Uh, and you can locate things if, even if they're miles and miles away because Tracker is part of the biggest crowd locate network in the world. So it will show you its last location on that map. Uh, I'm telling you, this is a small investment that's going to serve you tons and tons of peace of mind. Very highly recommend it. And if you go to thetracker.com, that's T H E T R A C C A R C K R apologies dot com slash energy, and you get twenty percent off. And it's really not that expensive to start with. Okay, so it's a good deal. Check them out. And while you're on the internet buying things, go to MeUndies.com and get yourself some new underwear. <laughs> they have new designs every month. Micromodal fabric, three times softer than cotton. Okay, they have bralettes now. They're introducing a whole new line of things. I may or may not have seen a onesie Y'all. being teased on their Instagram. Y'all. Imagine a MeUndies onesie. Oh my God, stop. They have... Those uh, pants are already so soft. Yeah. And then they right. they also have new socks, which, which they released this year. Uh, but they're... The bread and butter is their undies. And if you've never worn me undies, you need to try it because it is so incredibly comfortable. You're not going to understand how you wore any other pair of underwear before that. Right now, you go to meundies.com slash Jenna Julian. You get 20% off your first order, free shipping, and 100% satisfaction guarantee, which means you guys are not going to return these undies. I promise you. Okay. The awesome team. They sponsor our Twitch stream. They sponsor the podcast yeah. for a long time. We love them so much. They're literally one of our Twitch emotes. We made a Twitch emote just for me and these. Yeah, we'll just be playing PUBG and people are just typing in me and these, me and these. Yeah, really, really awesome product. I uh, highly recommend. Now, proceeding with the important business we have. Well, your important business. I wonder what happened in HQ. I don't know. Oh, the prize was $8,000 tonight. I know. We done blew it. Shan won. I know, she won like $6. All right, you ready? I have Susan Wojnicki, which I see that you spelled with an N, just like how I thought, but apparently there's no N in her name. If you go back and like listen to those podcasts where we're talking about it, I'm saying Susan Wojnicki. There's never been I know, an N I, in I it. I just sounded it's it out. Wojcicki. I just sounded it out. Okay? I know, but isn't that crazy? It's like the fucking Mandela effect. It's making me feel crazy. Conspiracy theory. I feel Let's like get Alex there Jones was a, with his, with his, b- with his diamond d- bra. D- get him out bra. here. Okay, Susan Wojnicki. Thinks not only that the world is flat, but also that you're a bitch. <laughs> but their new fall line is still on schedule. Oh, God. Damn. Uh, yo, not only is the earth flat, but you're a bitch. <laughs> Just you collectively. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay pulls out, but is pretty sure it's fine. And then holds a solid plank for 64 minutes oh, straight. Oh, my God. What? <laughs> Julian, what the fuck? What? That absolutely wins. Really? That absolutely wins. Should I read it again? Yes. Gordon Ramsay pulls out, but is pretty sure it's fine, and then holds a solid plank for 64 minutes straight. Like, on what planet would that be an article? What does the article include? Him pulling out, being 90% sure it's cool, everything's fine, and then he holds a plank. Oh, my God. By the way, that guy is in incredible shape for his age, so he could hold that 64-minute plank, probably. I'm sure he could. That's a long plank. But after pulling out, who knows what he's capable of? Oh, my God. Sorry. Sorry. You sick. (laughs) Are you pleased with that one? I just want to hear Susan Wozniacki tell me I'm a bitch. (laughs) Oh, we're almost out of the action cards. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
All right, I got Sean Evans from Hot Ones wishes that Elsa from Frozen has the secret to good skin. Didn't work. The guy that puppeteers Kermit the Frog claims he is the pre- he is pregnant with the next winner of American Ninja Warrior and has already invested in six Arby's locations. <laughs> Yes. Yes. That's totally possible. Imagine claiming you're pregnant with the winner of like a sporting event and the one you pick is American Ninja Warrior. And then you're like, mm, gotta finish getting these Arby's, y'all. I'm collecting Arby's. Gotta catch them all. Arby's. <laughs> you gotta well, catch all the Arby's. Watch. Yeah, I know. God damn. God damn. God damn, boy. God damn, boy. Oh, I like this next one. It's got my favorite singer in. Okay. What is it? Cher has never actually existed and says no takesies backsies. <laughs> <laughs> if that was an article, I would click on it. I would read the fuck out of that. She, what is that? <laughs> she probably has already claimed that she's never existed and I'm sure has in person in conversation said no takesies backsies. What is that article about? She has a come to Jesus moment where she realizes she doesn't exist and never has mm-hmm. and is so confident that it says no taxis no taxis taxis <laughs> fair enough mine is Tiffany Pollard aka New York was spotted backflipping into a local public <laughs> pool while at fr- Friendsgiving in the sewer by LAX who's Tiffany Pollard <gasps> do not who? Julian who is Julian. it Julian who is it? You know who that is. Is it? Is Julian. it from New York? Julian. Is it the the show, the reality show? Flavor of Love. I love New York. Yes, is it New York? that one. That's New York. But she was on Flavor of Love. Forgive remember? me for not knowing New York by her wrong name, which isn't New York. Her name is New York. That's legally. how we know all of them. Her name is New York. The one when you sent the gif of me with a knife. That's New York. That's New York. Yeah. She's terrifying. Then why did you say who's New York? I said who's Tiffany Pollard. Oh, okay. Because that's like saying who's Bruce Wayne. Oh, Batman? You should have just said Batman. Did you just compare New York to Batman? A little bit. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Yours wins by far. All right. That was incredible. I'm not mad at that. I think that's... Honestly, next to the Alex Jones thing, this is so believable. Mm-hmm. Sure. She's a loose cannon on she Twitter. She claims that she never existed. And no takesies, backsies. She There's only did. one. There's we no can arm. only do one. Uh, oh, well, we use the middle one for both of these. How's Kay. that? Okay, go. You need a person over here. No, we'll, we'll each do our own sharing the middle one. Oh. Do you know what I mean? All right. I got Ethan and Neela <laughs> all of a sudden can only sing in Dothraki. And used to be an alien, but also still could be. Wendy Williams. All, all of a sudden can only sing in Dothraki. And then she prone called... And then she prone crawled backwards into a local Chili's. What the fuck? Honestly, Wendy Williams, I don't know what she's going to do next. I could see her prone crawling backwards into a Chili's. Let's pick another one. You can't. There are no more. What about this one? And is in a perpetual state of forgetting their phone charger. Weak. Yeah. Weak. That's it. Well, I want to read the rest of the people that we didn't get to. All of a sudden can only sing in Dothraki. Sam Smith, Paris Hilton, Matt Damon, Beyonce, and Nick Lachey. Damn it. Nick Lachey. I wish we I can't had gotten believe we missed out on Nick Lachey. Lachey. What a waste. Dick Dick. Dick Dick. I love Nick Lachey. All right, are we doing a winner's round here? Yeah, let's do a winner's round. All right. Are those all your winners? These are losers, Fuck. right? Yeah. Damn. Damn it. Okay. Start at the top. Donald Trump shows off beat new beach body. It's not his, that but it's incredible. a great body. While spitting up into the air and catching it back in the mouth. That's incredible. I only have three winners. I think this Kylie Jenner one can go. The iPhone X. Yeah. All right, that one's... Okay. Um, Kim Jong-un just impromptu proposed to Elon Musk but won't confirm their own story. Nah. No. What else you got? We got to come up with the most plausible 2017 headline. 
the puppeteer that claims they're pregnant with American Ninja Warrior and uh Whoa. You just gonna eliminate them without asking me? Sorry, do you like that one? I it was okay, kinda... you can eliminate it. Sorry. All right, read one of yours. All right. Alex Jones isn't sure if the Super Bowl is still a thing and then ripped open his shirt to reveal the most exquisite jeweled bra. That one's so good. All right, still going? The, this is the still going round. All right, still going round. The Rock sends a threatening yes, text to a that guy was amazing. who crapped on his airplane. That one's really good. That one's incredible. The Chrissy Teigen yells the national anthem at her son and then shows up butt-ass naked to a child's birthday. It's plausible. It's good, but it doesn't compete with these, I don't think. Okay, then get rid of it. Bye, Chrissy. What else? Gordon Ramsay pulling out and then holding a plank for an hour. <laughs> that is so fucking weird. I'll leave that one up to you. I think we can get rid of mine. Are we, are we ending up with one? Yeah, let's okay. pick one. Well, this let's one can't pick a winner. Right. This one can't An ultimate winner. I, I think we can get rid of this Hillary Clinton one. Dug an actual hole to China. When asked how she did it, she said, shh, don't worry about it. And also can't find her fucking car keys. Yeah, that one just served as a purpose to segue into the sponsors. Am I right? Oh, my God. Oprah. That one was good. Just announced they're running for president via Musical.ly and then started eating during yoga. <laughs> that was still really good. <laughs> eating during yoga. All right. I want to see these like on actual headlines like Photoshop. Right. It's so funny. Michael Kors says champagne has no bubbles and then promptly left the country in a hot air balloon that, that one's crashed good shortly too. after. Okay. It's still How in. are we going to ever? Okay. Adam Driver mustered up enough cash to bring back Vine, then tossed a ball of dough into the air. No, I'll get rid of it. Good, but weak compar comparingly. Yeah. I'd say my top ones are Oprah. Share, The Rock. The Rock, Alex Jones, and uh, I don't know. The Rock and Alex Jones are, and then Share is pretty good. Yeah, I mean, these are all good. I feel like The Rock is my top, but the Donald Trump one's great. I feel like The Rock one should just win. The Rock one should just win. Read it again. The Rock sends threatening text to a guy who clapped when his plane landed and then audibly farted into a Dasani <laughs> bottle. <laughs> So good. It's so good. If that was an article, I would click like on it. Like there's in the in the article there's a picture of a plane, a Dasani bottle, and the rock. And you're just like, I guess that happened. Oh my god. What if we took the MVPs here and made like Frankenstein the best one? Okay, go for it. I don't know how to do that. Okay, so let's pick share. Oh, you're gonna make a, a Franken one? Franken that's what I said. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Nice. Nice. What else are you going to pick? Uh-huh. Okay. Yup. <laughs> what are you doing? Cher says champagne has no bubbles while spitting up into the air and catching it back <laughs> in the mouth. That's gross. <laughs> That's gross. That's Good. my Franken one. Good for Cher. What's yours? Um, for Cher. For Cher, dude. <laughs> for Cher, dude. All right, my Franken one is <laughs> Michael Kors just announced he's running for president via Musical.ly and then audibly farted into a Dasani bottle. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Hold what? On, let me do something for you there. What? Alex Jones <laughs> just announced <laughs> he's running for president via Musical.ly and then audibly farted into a Dasani bottle. I could see him farting into a Dasani bottle. <laughs> Yeah. I could see yeah. that happening. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. All right. I really like that card. Just anybody audibly farting into a Dasani bottle, I guess, wins this game. I like this one. What? Oprah says no takes these back seats. <laughs> <laughs> and then audibly farts into a Dasani <laughs> everything, bottle. Uh, everything ends with that. Everything ends with that. Uh... This is fun. Yeah, that was fun. I feel like um, these roulette games are fun, but they always take like a, a sort of trial, right? Because mm -hmm. we've done a couple episodes of each one. Mm -hmm. So I feel like we kind of know a little better moving into, like if we were to do a, a sequel on this one, Headline Roulette 2 or something. Yeah. Um, also, if, if there's like a, an angle we missed, like let us know, you know? Yeah. But this was fun. It's still fun and funny, and it's one of my favorite things to do. I love it's the just like games. Sitting down, yeah, and making things up. Just making funny things by pulling things out of a... It's fun! Well, and also, like, I'm at my computer just, like, chuckling to myself. Yeah. Because I think I'm funny, but, you know, half of the shit I write is, like, so dumb. It's fun. It's fun. It doesn't matter. It's fun. It's fine. It's fine. It's fun!
god you look really cute by the way oh ow my heart thanks anyway whoa whoa whoa, whoa. oh shit who are you fighting <sighs> You're going on your last LMT of the year tomorrow. Are you excited? I am leaving it yeah, early in the morning. I'm, I'm excited. I am excited. I can't believe um, the year's like over and we've we've done it. All the ones we've done, it's kind of crazy to think about, but I'm excited. Yeah. I'm curious as to, as to where we're going to go. I'm looking at the map. I don't know. If you threw a dart in the same exact location, would you go back? No. <laughs> I would send Colin and I would just stay home. <laughs> uh, no. The, well, this podcast will be... We're going to probably already have finished the dart throw by the time this goes up. But yeah, we're leaving tomorrow. We don't know where, which is always interesting because I packed like, I have to pack like. For a spectrum of temperatures. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And conditions too. Yeah. But um, are you going to miss me? Yeah. I'm going to miss you. Aw, you sweet. <laughs> um, anyway, we'll be back um, next week with another podcast. I uh, hope you guys all had a wonderful Thanksgiving and I hope you're powering through the Thanksgiving break. To yeah. Christmas and the holiday break because I know you want to get there. You're it's that weird there. time. We all want it to be Christmas I know. already. Just go half ass and, and or work whatever and get your winter holiday is. <laughs> just go, go half ass through full 2017. Half-ass. Yeah. Uh, we love you guys. Have a great week and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.